Hello, my name is Peter Brookman. I'm a Principal Design Consultant at Air Technology and my specialist area is the design and assessment of high voltage earthing systems together with lightning protection surveys of industrial and electrical buildings. One of the most important measurements to undertake when designing a high voltage earthing system is soil resistivity measurement. Because of the buried services and cables associated with industrial and substation environments it means that we can't take accurate soil resistivity measurements within the actual substation compound. What we try and do is take measurements at, in open fields ground close to the substation where we have no buried cables or services. And that means that we can gain accurate soil information which is representative of that buried beneath the substation. The test that we undertake is called the Venner method. This method requires us to run at four separate leads that are equally spaced apart. We measure the resistance value from these probes and then from that we can gain the soil resistivity. So quite easily by increasing the spacing of the probes on the surface of the soil we are effectively measuring the soil resistivity deeper in the ground. This is very important to us when we are actually trying to gather significant and detailed data for any earthing survey. There are a number of different steps that we have to follow to undertake a resistance measurement. The first one is to reel two leads away from the substation into open ground. When we've achieved this, we can create a remote injection point for our test current. It's extremely important to appreciate the safety aspects when undertaking this measurement. Because we're connecting onto a live earthing system, there's a possibility during any fault scenario that the remote lead could become live. Because of this, it's imperative that we use walkie-talkies to create a good means of communication between the person in the substation with the instrument and the person remote to the lead. When we're connected to the earthing system and we're injecting current into the soil, we're creating a circuit from the earthing system in the substation to our remote injection point. By creating that circuit, we're measuring the potential on the surface of the soil at different locations. And from that point, we can measure the resistance of that substation earthing system. Uh, we, we always conduct a full audit when we do an earth system test. It's, uh, I feel personally that it's, it's one of the most important aspects of the service. Um, by looking in great detail at, at, at what's on, on a substation, what, what's within that environment, you gain a good understanding of, of, of how it's been maintained, what condition it's in below ground because of the condition of the equipment above ground. So it's, uh, it's a very important and, and we always take a, a good amount of time to visually walk around to ensure that everything is, is in a good condition. We offer a bespoke service for every site surveyed that's completely impartial and will ensure that every site complies with safety limits and industrial best practice. When undertaking an earthing audit, it's also important many times to look at the lightning protection afforded to building and structures at the same time, mainly because the earthing of lightning protection systems and HV earthing systems is normally the same thing. When we're undertaking this survey, it takes the form of a, an above ground visual survey looking at the structure of the building, i.e. what it's made of, the height any services on the building roof and any lightning protection already in place. When we've done that, we take the information and use our specific lightning location service to create a site-specific risk assessment for that site. To ensure that you have an accurate risk assessment process, we use our own lightning location service, which is, which is completely unique within the UK. It records every cloud to ground strike that's occurred for the last 30 years. And from that detailed information, we can give a site specific risk assessment for any location within the UK and Southern Ireland. For more information, please contact EA Technology Services. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>